In schools, you must have read so many shocking events in history. But what if I tell you they ban black history in school? You will be shocked once you get to know it. The ban on black history in school curriculums represents a troubling chapter in the ongoing struggle for racial equity and justice in education. This omission reflects a deliberate act of erasure that has far-reaching consequences for both black and non-black students. By excluding black history from the educational landscape, we deprive students of a comprehensive understanding of the rich and complex tapestry that is American history. Black history is not a separate entity. It is an integral part of the nation's story filled with triumphs, contributions, and resilience in the face of adversity. When this history is marginalized or erased, it perpetuates a distorted narrative that diminishes the significance of black Americans' experiences. The consequences of this omission are profound. Black students are denied the opportunity to learn about their heritage, culture, and the struggles their ancestors faced and overcame. This leads to a sense of disconnection from their own history and reinforces the idea that black history is somehow separate from American history. On the other hand, non-black students are robbed of a complete understanding of the role black Americans played in shaping the nation, perpetuating ignorance and stereotypes. Are we truly educating our students if we erase black history from their curriculum? How does this omission perpetuate systemic racism? And what role do white supremacist ideologies play in this erasure? Join us as we delve into the profound impact of excluding black history and the urgent need for change in our educational system. The ban on black history in school curriculums is not just an educational issue. It is a reflection of broader systemic inequalities. To move toward a more inclusive and equitable society, we must confront this erasure, acknowledge the truth, and ensure that black history is given the prominence it deserves in our classrooms. It is not just about acknowledging the pain and suffering endured by black communities, but also celebrating their triumphs and contributions to our shared history. The ban on black history in schools is a stark reminder of the deep-seated racism and white supremacist ideologies that have persisted throughout American history. This deliberate act of exclusion was not a mere oversight. It was a calculated attempt to maintain a system of racial segregation and oppression by erasing the stories, achievements, and struggles of black Americans. White supremacist ideologies underpin the decision to ban black history from curriculums. These ideologies perpetuate the notion of white superiority and promote the false belief that the contributions of black individuals are somehow less significant or unworthy of recognition. By omitting black history, those who propagated these ideologies sought to reinforce a distorted narrative that diminished the value of black lives and their role in shaping the nation. This erasure was a means to maintain control and power over black communities by denying them access to their own history and heritage. It aimed to silence the voices of black individuals, erase their achievements, and perpetuate harmful stereotypes that portrayed them as inferior. Understanding the role of white supremacist ideologies in this bond is crucial for dismantling systemic racism and achieving a more just and equitable society. It highlights the need to confront the uncomfortable truths of our history and work towards a curriculum that acknowledges the full breadth of American experiences, including the struggles and triumphs of black Americans. Only by acknowledging and addressing these ideologies can we hope to move forward towards a more inclusive and compassionate future. So how have events like the Atlanta Massacre of 1906 and the Rosewood Massacre of 1923 left lasting scars on the history of the United States? And what do they reveal about the deep-seated racial violence and discrimination that persist? What role did the Springfield Race Riot of 1908 play in the formation of the NAACP? And why was such an organization deemed necessary? How does the erasure of black history perpetuate stereotypes and contribute to systemic racism in society? And what are the broader implications of this omission? The Atlanta Massacre of 1906 and the Rosewood Massacre of 1923 stand as chilling reminders of the deep-seated racial violence and discrimination that have scarred the history of the United States. These events serve as poignant examples of the brutal consequences of systemic racism and prejudice. In 1906, the bustling city of Atlanta became a focal point of racial tension and violence. The rapid growth of the black population posed a challenge to white leadership, who responded by imposing restrictions to control the behavior of the burgeoning black working class. This included the enforcement of Jim Crow segregation, which deepened racial tensions. The Atlanta massacre unfolded as a horrifying eruption of violence, with white mobs targeting black residents resulting in deaths injuries, and the displacement of many in the black community. 
Similarly, the Rosewood Massacre of 1923 in Florida was a devastating tragedy. The thriving black community of Rosewood was a haven of prosperity and peace until racial violence tore it apart. White mobs descended on the town, burning it to the ground and leaving a scar that would endure for decades. The true death toll remained hidden for years, with white historians largely ignoring the tragedy until much later. These events exemplify the destructive power of racial violence and discrimination. They serve as a stark reminder that the struggle for racial equality and justice has been marred by a long history of brutality and oppression. Recognizing and understanding these historical events is essential to confronting the ongoing issues of systemic racism and working toward a more inclusive and equitable society. The Springfield Race Riot of 1908 played a pivotal role in the formation of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, AACP. This tragic event, which unfolded in Illinois, witnessed escalating tensions between black and white residents, culminating in a deadly riot. Six black individuals were lynched and hundreds were driven out of Springfield. The aftermath of this horrific incident galvanized civil rights activists and concerned citizens to take action. In 1909, the NACP was founded, aiming to combat racial violence, discrimination, and inequality. The Springfield race riot served as a stark reminder of the urgent need for an organization dedicated to advancing the rights and freedoms of black Americans. The erasure of black history from school curriculums perpetuates harmful stereotypes and contributes to the persistence of systemic racism in society. When black history is marginalized or excluded, it sends a message that the contributions, achievements, and struggles of black Americans are less significant or unworthy of recognition. This omission reinforces negative stereotypes, such as portraying black individuals as inferior, less intelligent, or incapable of making meaningful contributions to society. Systemic racism relies on the perpetuation of these stereotypes to maintain its grip on various institutions, from education to criminal justice and beyond. By erasing black history, we effectively deny the narrative of black excellence, resilience, and innovation. This, in turn, allows for the continuation of discriminatory practices and policies that disproportionately affect black communities. Furthermore, the erasure of black history contributes to a lack of understanding and empathy among individuals of all races. Without comprehensive education about the historical context of racial disparities and the ongoing struggle for civil rights, people may remain ill-equipped to confront issues of race and discrimination. This ignorance can lead to perpetuating biases and prejudiced attitudes, which only deepens the divides in society. In essence, the erasure of black history is not just a matter of historical oversight. It is a form of structural violence that reinforces systemic racism by denying black individuals their rightful place in history and impeding our collective progress toward a more equitable and inclusive society. Recognizing and rectifying this, Erasure is an essential step toward dismantling the deeply entrenched biases and inequalities that persist in our world today. The erasure of black history from school curriculums has far-reaching consequences, chief among them being the profound sense of disconnection it fosters and the perpetuation of ignorance among both black and non-black students. For black students, the absence of their history from the curriculum creates a disheartening void. It sends the message that their heritage, contributions, and struggles are not worthy of acknowledgement or celebration. This erasure can lead to feelings of alienation and a lack of connection to the broader narrative of American history. It also reinforces the false notion that black history is somehow separate from the nation's story, when in reality, it is an integral part of it. Conversely, non-black students are deprived of a complete understanding of American history when black history is omitted. This knowledge gap perpetuates ignorance and stereotypes, leaving young minds ill-prepared to engage in meaningful conversations about race, discrimination, and social justice. It hinders the development of empathy and understanding necessary for dismantling systemic racism. Addressing the erasure of black history from school curriculums requires a multifaceted approach that promotes inclusivity, encourages open dialogue on race, and supports initiatives aimed at reinstating black history into the educational landscape. Inclusive curriculums. The cornerstone of addressing this issue is the development and implementation of inclusive curriculums. These curriculums should incorporate black history in a meaningful and comprehensive way, highlighting the achievements, contributions, and struggles of black Americans throughout history. This inclusive approach ensures that all students receive a well-rounded education that accurately reflects the diversity of American experiences. Open discussions on race, creating safe spaces for open and honest discussions about race and racism is crucial. Schools should encourage dialogue that allows students to confront difficult topics 
challenge stereotypes, and examine their own biases. These conversations empower students to become more culturally competent and empathetic individuals, fostering a greater understanding of the complexities of racial issues. And that's all for this video. Subscribe for more.